And joining us here today on News 10 is Dana Gadigan with Purdue Extension. And we're talking about harvest and pumpkins. It is fall, so it's time to talk about it. Even though maybe it's warm outside, it doesn't feel <laughs> like definitely. it. So I wanted to, Purdue put out an article yesterday about pumpkins because everyone gets so excited because they're gung-ho to go into fall and they start buying pumpkins. You might want to hold off a little bit on that. If you buy pumpkins now, there's a high chance that they could end up spoiling before you even get to see them at the end of October. Okay. So we're encouraging you to like wait just a little bit and that you want to, that most pumpkins will typically last about a month. So maybe buy in the beginning of October okay. and, and decorate them and all that. But you want to keep them in a cool, dry place. You want to keep them out of the moisture, out of the wet. Maybe you want to show them off, but mm -hmm. maybe not in that bright sunshine because you're gonna, they're going to start breaking down on you. And you really want to hold on to your pumpkin as long as you can. Okay, so you're waiting for that perfect time. Yes. So maybe the ones that you really care about or that you decorate, maybe keep them inside. They'll last yeah. a little bit longer. Just a little bit. Like we, you work so hard in making them pretty, and I've seen some pretty spectacular pumpkins. Okay. So you may want to wait just a little bit longer. Okay, and so <laughs> if you have them outside, maybe somewhere that there's a little shelter over mm -hmm. them, especially with the outdoor weather. You can't help if it rains or something yeah. like that. So maybe wait a little bit on, on pumpkins. They're coming, but you can hold off a little bit. And I also want to talk a little bit about harvest. Okay. Because uh, farmers have been working all summer long in order to bring crops in, soybeans and corn, which we do a lot of here in Terre Haute. But they're going to be out in their combines within the next probably couple weeks and in the next month, spending most of the day outside in the combine harvesting corn and soybeans, and they're working really hard. So maybe if you know or see a farmer, you can stop by and say thank you. Thank you for working so hard. Yeah, long, hard seasons for them coming up mm -hmm. and starting even now for some. Um, is there anything that we can do for them, any events that we can go to to support them, or if we can give you a call if we have any questions about the mm -hmm. harvest season? Yeah, you can definitely call the Purdue Extension office about any questions you have about the harvest season. And the junior leaders are actually made a whole bunch of bags for producers to give them to, you know, sustain them through that long season. Okay, sounds good, and that's very nice of you guys. Well, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> I'm glad to help. You're very welcome.